Supersport's evolution of broadcast activation was the perfect blend of creativity and technology that brought through the core business offerings of the brand within the activation. Using the highly anticipated Rugby World Cup as the platform, the activation used interactive technology to showcase the history of multi-choice and the evolution of broadcast technology throughout the years. The results of the experience were testament to an activation that was amplifiable beyond the participants, a true indication of a great experience. Objectives Drive awareness of Supersport's world-class broadcasting technology using Rugby World Cup 2015 as the platform. Bring alive Supersport's overarching Our Hearts Are In It campaign. Get users to truly understand the history of sports broadcasting and the history of multi-choice, DSTV and Supersport. Ensure that shareable content is created at the activation to amplify the activation beyond its physical presence. Execution. The experience went live at the Rugby World Cup PR launch on 8th August 2015 to a select group of media and influencers at the new multi-choice complex. The activation then ran for three weeks in the multi-choice complex and was open to the staff complement of over 1,500 people as well as any visitors. The experience was set up to look like the match day experience, starting at the entrance to the change room, inside the change room, walking out the tunnel onto the field and then collecting your trophy. Starting at the entrance, users were prompted to enter their name on the back of a replica 2015 Rugby World Cup Springbok jersey on screen. This personalized jersey was then sent via automated email to each individual in the form of a downloadable image to upload to their social platforms. The users then moved into the change room where they found jerseys hanging in the lockers with the names of Supersport talent, pictures of the talent from old Rugby World Cups and a full range of multi-choice decoders dating back through history. Inside the change room were two interactive elements. Three screens controlled by joysticks, each with their own quiz and animation on the history of DSTV and the Rugby World Cup. A motion sensing photo booth which instantly produced branded Polaroids containing campaign branding and super sport talent or Springbok players. Users then walked through a tunnel containing six screens which had different produced videos playing on the screen. Interviews with super sports production team. Rugby World Cup memories. Promotion of the Rugby World Cup on Supersport in 2015. The Supersport, our hearts are in it, TBC. Users then walked out of the tunnel where they were greeted on the field by cameras used throughout the years, as well as rugby memorabilia. Finally, the users saw a live 3D printer printing scaled replica Rugby World Cup trophies. Each participant walked away with their very own Rugby World Cup trophy. Results. Foot traffic through the activation of 1,282 people. 405 Supersport branded and personalized jerseys sent to participants who entered their email details. 630 printed Polaroids printed in real time at the event, each with a photo of the person posing alongside a superimposed member of the Supersport talent or a Springbok player. 703 3D printed Rugby World Cup replica trophies handed out. Average time spent in the experience, 8 minutes per person, which is indicative of highly engaged and captive participants. Total OTS from media influencers at the launch of the activation, 3.6 million. Combined number of followers on Twitter of people tweeting from launch event, 1.5 million. Social AVE from launch event, 1.6 million. Sentiment analysis. Conversation regarding the evolution of broadcast experience was over 90% positive. The rest of the conversation from influencers at this event was neutral and referred to the Springbok test being played that day or quotes from panelists. There was no negative conversation regarding the evolution of broadcast activation. 